السلام عليكم ورحمة الله شباب ويلكم تو بيج بانج داتا ساينس سوليوشنز ويك نمبر 10 اند سيشن نمبر 1 انفورتشنتلي ذيس از ذا لاست اند فاينل سيشن اوف ذيس 15 ويك بروجرام ان ذيس ويك وي ار غن ليرن تو مور كلاسيفيكيشن مودلز وي ار غن ليرن سبورت فيكتور ماشين اند كي نيرست نيبر اند تومورو وي ار غن ليرن هاو تو ديبلوي ا مودل يوزين فلاسك Uh, so we got two more sessions after that uh, you are gonna those who are interested uh, those who are interested in um, getting certified then you need to uh, you need to uh, submit twenty uh, dollars no you need to pay twenty dollars to the to the business it's it's nothing well it's nothing but we need to cover the fee for the certificate and there is going to be an exam It's not going to be a tough exam, but it's going to be a time exam. And also there is going to be a project. It's an individual project. It's a, it's a, it's a real project. A real uh, project, but it is going to be an individual project. Okay, so uh, inshallah we'll talk about uh, about the um, that um, tomorrow. So today we are going to learn. Uh, we already learned in machine learning. Uh, so we learn decision tree, naive Bayes, and logistic regression. And today we are going to learn support vector machine and k nearest neighbor. Okay, so that is the plan for today and tomorrow. Great. Okay, so uh, basically uh, we are still working for an R insurance company. We are still working for uh, this R insurance company. And this company, they are losing money because of the fraudulent claims. So this is the business problem. And this is a typical business uh, problem. This is called um, problem statement. And problem statement always, uh, most likely, is going to be vague. Vague, yani ghamda. Vague. Vague is the elha. Then. means there are many many directions many directions that you could take to fix it using of course now we are talking about analytical approaches analytical approaches there's many analytical approaches many um, domain many domain that you could uh, you could um, investigate to come up with a solution and when we are talking about solution we are talking about smart um, automated dynamic solution The solution that can be implemented okay so the first thing that we did as a team is we spend time understanding the problem assigned to us of course we uh, learned about the objectives we learned about we framed the problem then we uh, define the business uh, measurement of success Then, since we are doing tar, uh, since we are doing prediction, we determined our target variable, and based on the business problem question, we were able to determine the analytical approach. Then we identified the, the deployment plan, if any. We got our teams, we got stakeholders, and we were able to come up with an ABT, an analytical base table, and this is the first phase. 
Then we moved into second phase where we collected the data and in our data we got now a thousand claims and 39 um, columns. We were able to read the data into Python. Of course, we spent a lot of time manipulating, wrangling, exploring this data given to us, visualizing this data, applying some statistical analysis, and all we're trying to do is trying to understand the data that we have. And finally, uh, we designed our quality report. Our quality report is nothing but uh, a report documenting anything, everything that you discovered about your data in, the ter in, in terms of the quality. How is the quality of this data? So this is an example of this quality report. This is a, an example. You talk about um, you know, various uh, and the type of data that you have, the source of the data that you have, the storage that you have, uh, you know, the structure, uh, the uh, hierarchical data that you have, transformation, uh, type of central tendency, the skewness, uh, the distribution, the measures of variability, standard deviation range, the uh, measures of relationship distribution transformation etc so this report it could be long it could be short depends on your data but this is a typical you know take it build an, uh, an uh, you know on top of it or improve it or make it better the way you you see fit you know you don't have to be a slave of this and this is simply a sample then after after that uh, we use this quality report Use the quality report, which is a roadmap for data preparation. In data preparation, uh, we uh, talked about, um, you know, how to handle target. Uh, we we should talk about the quality for the target target variable. And uh, find some inconsistencies, duplicates, redundancy, noisy data. How to deal with missing value if any. How to deal with outliers of any, how to check the high cardinality of uh, the features, high cardinality and high hierarchical, the high um, hierarchical data, how to convert categorical data into numerical data, how to transform numerical data from one skew to different skew, and how to normalize, factorize, binarize, standardize etc and this is not this is not an exhaustive this is not a final list this is not an exhausted list of what you should do to fix your data it could be it could be more than this it could be less than this it could be just few so use this list and build on the top of it you know as you progress inshallah as data scientists of course there are going to be new new uh, methods there are going to be new um, methodologies, new techniques. Build on the top of this uh, and um, improve it um, as you progress. So, in this during data, <coughs> excuse me, preparation, there are two components or through processes. They are the most important processes during data preparation, and that is feature engineering and feature selection this is very very important and i will give you an example today uh, of uh, how we can um, come up with something that we don't have and finally we should go home with a newest version a better version a version that is ready now for the uh, the analytics a version that is ready for um, uh, machine learning. So we started with um, raw data. When we first, uh, regardless of how great or how uh, how good that the, the raw data is, we all by default we need to consider it 
has a raw data regardless if the, if, if someone if the business provides in a, a very good clean ready to go data set your responsibility as data science as data scientist is to treat this data as a raw data means you need to still need to check its quality you need to look for missing values outliers you need to transform categorical data to numerical data etc okay and now we have a better version the next step is now we are ready for machine learning now we are ready for modeling some of the projects some of the project that you will be working on in the future might not need modeling no modeling need just uh, maybe a, a statistical analysis statistical analysis should be enough but we want to go beyond that to do the modeling and with the modeling number one we need to s select the type of models we are going to use and of course this type of model we are going to use is actually depends on the analytic approach we determine from the beginning we already uh, know we already know the type of uh, uh, approach we are going to take and I'm going to send you I'm going to share with you a trick I'm going to share with you a trick of how we can determine the potential analytical approach without wasting time wandering right and left up and down and you know we, uh, we spend time doing that there are a few techniques that we are going to learn so we have a buffet of uh, models to select of course we need to determine the method of learning from one of them uh, is split data some of these models they require scaling the algebraic models they require scaling and of course we need to set since we are doing classification uh, for this exercise we need to set the dummy models then we need to build the model build a model by calling um, whatever um, a library or wh whatever modules calling the modules the module then we need to fit now if you are splitting here on 80% 20% we need to fit our model 80% means learn a model then we need to test our model 20% and we need to compare we need to assess evaluate using of course um, you know um, confusion matrix accuracy F1 score recall precision etc and at the end of the day we are gonna have only one one model one model you know that the one model is gonna be the, the, the winner model okay then that one model always is gonna be room for optimization always there is going to be a room for optimization so any question concerns please any questions any doubt any concern english arabic i don't care yalla shabab please Ali, Amal, uh, Alawi, clear? Yes, okay. Yes, Thank you. So now let me see if I can. Here we go. This is few examples. How do we determine the analytical approach? The first thing we got to do is we are going to use the format, the question. format 
So for example, if you are trying to fix a problem in the format of A or B, is a claim fraudulent or legitimate? Is this customer coming back or not coming back? Is this client churn, will churn or will not want churn? If the format is in, I mean, if the question is in this format, then it is going to be classification. By simply looking into the business problem, you know ahead of time the, 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 the analytic approach that you are going to take. If you are trying to predict a value, a value, a dollar value, like for example, trying to predict the salary of um, employees, trying to predict the price of a car, the price of a house, trying to predict a value, then the best analytic approach it is going to be a supervised learning regression. If you, if you are trying to find the underlying structure of your data, if you are trying to group based on similarities and unsimilarities, most likely you will be doing unsupervised learning clustering. If you are trying to determine what you should take next, so you already took one step, and you have a, a, we have a list of steps or processes or action to take, then most likely that is going to be reinforcement learning. If you are trying to determine if there is anything that is unusual, anything that is abnormal, anything that does not that is strange that that does not click, then most likely you are going to be doing um, anomaly detection. And of course, there are other questions. So by simply looking into the business problem, you should be able to determine the type of the analytic approach. So this for this, this problem statement, you cannot because it's vague. So once we frame it, you are going to see an analytical a clear analytical approach. Okay, Huda, uh, you have any question? Huda, do you have Huda um, Karawi? Do you have a question? Okay. So there are some techniques that you could um, use to determine the analytical approach using question using a uh, question and um, the question for format okay. yes okay can i ask you a question yes sir so why why always we make uh, uh, futures follow a normal distribution why always the data has to yeah. be normal distribution. Number one. We make future. Yeah. Yes, I got the answer to that. Yeah, let me give you the answer from the slide. Okay, I'll give you the answer from the slides. So if you go to uh, data preparation, understanding the data, data visualization, here we go. That is the answer. I know the answer. I simply wants uh, wants you um, wants to help you so you can find answers um, similar to this through the slides. Okay, I don't think this is in this one. Yeah. 
let's take a look into this one there we go why do we need models to be why do you need the data to be normally distributed simply because the models the models when they were built they were built with the assumption that your data is normally normally distributed means models were built with the assumption that there is no missing values, no outliers, outliers, no noisy data. That's that, 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 that is what normal distribution means in, in theory. Okay, if you have this data, Uh, skew to the right for skew to the left your model is not going to give you an accurate the model is not going to give you an accurate answer it's still going to work but the model was built in this in this data and now you are feeding this data into your model uh, it's still going to work but you are not going to get an accurate result. You got it? Mustafa? Yes, the Frankie, uh, all the features or just uh, are you? All the features, all the features that you are feeding. All the features that you are feeding into your model. The model assumes that they are normally distributed. Okay? Okay, so we got you. Thank you. Yeah, we'll come. Okay, another uh, another technique that you could use to determine the analytic approach. Yeah, another technique. So let's do. Uh, let's do this. Okay. okay. The first thing we are going to do is uh, do we have data? Do we have a data? Okay. Okay, that is the first question to ask. Do we have a data? If no, come on. If no, then most likely you are going to do reinforcement learning. 
If yes, the second question that you need to ask, do we have a target variable? Okay, then based on that, we are gonna have yes. So you got two answers, yes or no. No, and yes. If no, now you got a data, but it's not a target variable. Most likely it's going to be an supervised learning. And under supervised learning, we could do clustering. We could do A, B testing. We could do recommender systems. We could do a um, um, basket analysis. We could do so many things. If yes, then what is the type? So the type, we got two types. You got two types of target variable. Okay, is it uh, um, continuous or is it a binary, trinary, multi-class, nominal? Okay, if it's, uh, if it's continuous, then we are going to do supervised learning regression. Then if it's a binary, trinary, multi-class, it's going to be supervised learning classification. And under supervised learning regression, we could do simple linear regression, multiple linear regression, polynomial um, regression, lasso, um, elastic net, reach, decision tree, random forest, etc. If it's a binary, trinary multi-class we could do uh, decision tree random forest bagging boosting uh, caners neighbor logistic regression naive base etc so this is how you are you should determine your analytical approach using data so we are going to use using data and the other one is how we determine analytic approach how we determine analytic approach using the questions okay we got two methods to help you determine the best analytic approach for your problem Selma, your question is, um, is the supervised learning classification gathers quantitative and also qualitative since there is no anomaly there? The uh, supervised learning, uh, it, it supervised learning handle 
handles both qualitative and quantitative. Some, some models of the supervised learning, they are only designed for qualitative, sorry, for quantitative, for numerical data. Some supervised learning models, they are designed to handle both uh, qualitative and quantitative data. Example, decision tree, random forest, adaboost, catboost, um, xgboost, or any boosting algorithm that is that is built on the top of the decision tree. Any boosting algorithms that that is using the decision tree as the base model, you can use them for both numerical and non-numerical data. Okay. Uh, hopefully that is your your question okay so now for this mini program we uh, learned about uh, one method unfortunately because of the limitation because of the time and because of so many constraints so so far um, we are dealing with supervised learning and our target variable is binary of course we are going to do classification so in classification we learned about decision tree and it's your job as data scientists to learn to know what is decision tree how it works the pros and cons the uh, objective um, the uh, learning object objective the loss function the cost function then the assumptions you got to know assumptions for every single model that you are using then we moved into uh, naive ways which is a probabilistic learning then we moved into logistic regression which is another probabilistic learning today we are going to learn about support vector machine and Kainer's neighbor very quick so um, let's jump because I'm going to simply go through uh, this very quick Here we go. So when we are talking about when we are talking about the uh, classification, we simply uh, trying to find a model. Yeah, this is a model that can separate good claims for bad claims. A model that can separate um, good claims for bad claims and of course there are many models this is another model this is another model this is another model this is another model and we are gonna pick or keep the model that generalize gener generalize well on unknown data okay so decision the uh, the support vector machine is another classification is another classification that tries to find the optimal boundaries between the uh, uh, to separate to separate the good claims for bad claims so the way this support vector machine works is number one you get you got a bag of claims in our case we got thousand claims and uh, in this thousand claims 75% they were legitimate and 25% they were fraudulent so support vector machine what is gonna do is gonna find uh, give you this analogy let's transform these claims into um, a basket of two fruits orange and apple so machine learning in uh, in the applied um, applied part of it is going to look for extremes it's going to look for extremes 
So it's going to look for an apple that is an apple but very very close to be an orange very close you can you might know if I were to give you from a distance what is this if I hold an apple in my hand then I ask you, what is this? You won't be able to tell if it's, a, if it's an apple or an orange. It's an apple, but it's very, very close to be an orange. And from the orange side, it's going to find an orange that is actually an orange. But it's very close to be an apple. Okay, that is these two, um, these two um, fruits, they are called extremes. And yani, um, elements, متطرفة. غادي نقلبوا على في الأورنج نقلبوا على شيء شيء ليمونة اللي هي ليمونة أصلاً لكنها قريبة بزاف كتشاب لواحد درجة. عالية الدقة باش على التفاحة أو في المجموعة ديال 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 التفاح كان الزوج واحد التفاحة اللي هي تفاحة لكنها very close قريبة كتشابه كتشابه مع الـ مع الـ مع الـ مع الـ الأورنج مع الليمون and we are going to use them these two we are going to use them to find a boundaries باش باش نلقاو يعني يعني الحد الحدود ما بين مجموعه اللي هي تفاحه ومجموعه اللي هي اورنج ذات از سوبرفايزد ليرنينغ ويزاوت اوف كورس جوين بلا ما نمشيو للعلاقات الرياضيه والطريقه باش تبنى ذيس از وي كومبليكيتد كنحاول نشرح لكم غير غير الواجهه شنو هو سبورت فيكتور ماشين از ا موديل ذات لوكس فور اكستريمز from the two groups and use those extremes as a vector, a support vector to find a boundary. Had line other kids my hyperline and there are many hyperlines. This is another one. This is another one. At the end we are going to calculate we are going uh, we are going to pick a hyperline with the highest highest margin highest margin that is simply the support vector machine how it works at the uh, you know at the back end without going into mathematical details how it works at the back end okay Question, please. Question, please. Uh, please, when we use uh, frequently the support vector machine? Uh, for you as a scientist, there is one, unfortunately, um, unfortunately, there is no straight answer to your question. There is one concept that I want you to be aware of, and that is um, all models are wrong, but some of them they are useful. So there is no such good model. There is no such good model. They are all they are all wrong, but of course some of them uh, some of them they are useful. And your job as a scientist is to find which model is close to address your concerns. That is number one. Number two, there is another concept in data science. It's called no no free lunch theorem. 
Melhor falar em inglês termo, mas means simply uh, what works. You know, if you if you are working for uh, you know for you are working on the our insurance uh, claims, our insurance problem, and you apply so many models, and you find out that you know random forest is the best model to uh, provide an accurate uh, high high accurate result. That does not mean that this decision tree, I'm sorry, this random forest model, it is going to be uh, the best model for your next project. Okay, so there is no straight answer which model, when to use this model versus that model. But of course, there are a few assumptions. There are a few assumptions. Uh, that's why it's very important to um, learn about the assumptions. When do we use a support vector machine? When can we use support vector machine? Is number one, if your data is linearly, linearly separable. Okay. So looking into the uh, the R insurance, R insurance claims, we got a thousand, right? Seventy five legitimate and twenty five fraudulent. So we, if we were to plot this into D, so you are going to see something like this. This is all our seventy five. Okay, and of course we got your 25. Of course you are going to find one, some extreme here and there. Okay, if you can split the bad and good using a line that is called linearly separable then you can use a support vector machine as a model so to determine to determine An analytic approach what do you need two things is a question for everybody to determine an analytic approach, you need to. We we a lot of nalium, a lot of nalium. three minutes ago. I need everybody, please participate. So, what is that? Uh, if we have a target variable or no? If we have the data first. Yes. So we are going to look into the data. And what else? Target variable. It's a data. And type of data. It's the data. Questions. Is the format of what? Of the question you are trying to fix. This is analytical approach. Now Let's say that we know we are going to do um, regression or classification. Then the second, how to, to determine to determine the model? You are going to need one thing. It must depend on the type of the data. 
Mm. If it's uh, quantitative or uh, qualitative? Yeah, we, we already determined that using we already determined that uh, uh, you know using the data here. Depending the, the the variable, we can use uh, uh, the we can choose the uh, the model. Yeah? Depends on the variables. Depends on the quantity. Depends on the quality. Depends on so many things. We are going to determine the analytic approach. No, the variable explicative in French. In English, I don't know. The variable explicative. Uh, the outputs. No. So that we can use to uh, to determine the analytic approach. عاد منين دابا مثلا مشينا البيانات ديالنا قلبناها لقيناها عندنا التارجت فيريبل از نيميريك از كونتينيوس. Of course we are going to do regression, right? Yeah. So uh, I, I, no, no, I, not uh, regression. We can use the random forest or other. Agree. I'm, I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the model. I'm talking about the approach. Uh, yeah. So we are going to use regression. Under regression, you could use. What do you need to use? Decision tree, or random forest, or you know, bagging, boosting, you know, canvas neighbor. You know, what are you going to use? That is the question to determine the model. Once you determine the analytic approach, you are going to end up having to uh, start with some models you cannot you cannot train all the models if you don't have time so to determine the analytical approach we need to question the data and question the question business problem once we determine the analytical approach now we need to determine how many you know which models to use so how do we determine the model we can uh, use uh, three or four model and classificate and compare it. Uh, yes, yes. Which are model. how do we if you have if you have twenty models, which these three, one, two, three, four models to use? Which? If we have target variable or not? We already I mean target variable that we use to determine the approach. We have target variable, it's going to be classification. We have its classification. But in the classification, we have 20, 30, 10, 15 models to use. What are the models that we have to use? How do we choose 4 models? We have to choose 4 models. Do you guys understand the question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. يوراش ندا واتس ولا سول كوم انا وراسي واحد واحد السيد راه جاوب مزيان في الجديري The answer is we need to look نشوفوا لو تيب لو تيب دو داتا تيب دو داتا ولا كيستيون دو ريشيرش هذيك لا كيستيون دو ريشيرش اللي بديتها هي اللي غيتعطينا الاناليتيك ابروتش ومن بعد كتختار الاناليتيك ابروتش ديالك في داك الاناليتيك ابروتش اللي اختاريتي كلاسيفيكيشن راه عندك 30 موديل نوع النوع ديال الموديل شكون فيهم اللي بغيت السؤال دابا منين كتلقى الاناليتيك ابروتش ديالك عندك واحد المجموعه ديال لي موديل اللي تقدر تستعمل اشنو هما يعني بغيت اعطيني غير واحد خمسه ثلاثه من, من هاد ال 30 موديل انا ما عنديش الوقت باش ندير 30 موديل بحال انا عارفه لكن لا فاريابل اكسبليكاتيف ديال ديال انا جو بو با ايتيليزي ما عندي ما ندير دوك لي موديل اللي بحال دابا الكائن ماشي الكائن بحال لي موديل اللي كيتخاص التشايد ولا هادو ما عندي ما ندير بهم غادي ناخذ مثلا لي موديل كي سون بروش كي با ميكسبليكي لا فالور كونتيتاتيف اشنو كتسمى اشنو كتسمى هاد اشنو كتسمى هاد العمليه يا بليز هولد اي ثانك اي ثانك اي ثانك نشوفوا لوبجيكتيف واش بريدكشن ولا جوست هادشي كامل يا اخي كتشوفوا هنا راه كاين دابا دابا ربما كاين واحد الكونفيوجن كاين اول حاجه خصك ديرها منين يكون عندك البيانات كامله هو تختار التوجه التحليلي اشنو هو النوع ديال التحليل اللي اللي غادي دير واش بريدكتيف واش دايجنوستيك واش بريسكريبتيف واش بريدكتيف 
هذا باش تختار غير هذا التوجه هذا خصك تسوج الحوايج خصك البيانات اللي هي الاولى واش عندي البيانات واش عندي تارجت فيريبل تايب تارجت فيريبل واش كونتينوس اس باينري عاد كتبقى تنزل تنزل وانت دابا كتختار كت كتسكوبي كت كتموقع في واحد في واحد النقطه كتقول لك انه هو افضل توجه تحليلي اللي تقدر تتبعه ولكن بدات التوجه راه كاين بزاف ديال لي مودلز دابا السؤال الاول كيفاش غادي نختار التوجه التحليلي وهو اولا غادي نسولوا البيانات ديالنا وغادي نسولوا نشوفوا داك النوع النوع داك الفورمات النوعيه ديال السؤال اللي كنحاولوا نعالجوها هاد هاد الثلاثه هاد جوج طرق كتوريك غير التوجه فهاد التوجه التحليلي راه بحال اللي قلتي واحد الميد الله متحته بزاف ديال ديال لي مودلز ودابا باش تختار واحد ثلاثه ديال لي مودلز من ديك الجروب ديال لي مودلز اشنو خاصك خاصك تشوف اسامبشنز واش مثلا اف اتس لينير دابا مثلا عندنا مثلا درنا الاناليتيكال ابروتش ودرنا لقينا درنا مشينا مع الداتا ومشينا مع الفورمات وعرفنا بان وي ار غنا دو كلاسيفيكيشن 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 از نو ا موديل از نو ا موديل از ان اناليتيكال ابروتش ولكن تحت هاد كلاسيفيكيشن راه كاينه ديسيجن تري كاين الراندوم فورست كاين كاينين كاين نيف بيس كاين لوجيستيك لوجيستيك ريجريشن وكاين ان ديب ليرنين اينين وكاين شايد ايجالمون يعني ممكن بزاف راه كاين كاين بزاف يعني راه كاين تقريبا كاين الام ال بي ديال هذا انا ما عرفتش ما عرفتش كامل يا سؤال كي كاينين بزاف دابا السؤال شكون هما واحد ثلاثة ولا أربعة لي موردس تقدر تبدا بهم هاو دو يو ديتيرمين ذات غادي نشوفو الأسامبشنز مثلا إف إف ماي ديتا إز نون لينيرلي سيبيرابل أي نو وي أر نوت غون يوز سيبارت فيكتور مشين إلا كان نون لينيرلي سيبيرابل أي نو وي أر نوت غون يوز حنا حيدنا سيبورت فيكتور مشي حنا حيدناه من لانيس كيفاش عرفتك عاود اكسبيك هاد لابارتي الا كانت نون لينيير الا كانت نون لينيير نون لينيير مثلا هي هادي اي عرفت 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 نون لينيير مثلا الا عندك نون لينيير هادي هي نون لينيير ما تقدرش تفرق ما تقدرش دير واحد يعني واحد اللاين اللي كيفرق ما بين كليمز هذا نون لينيير درتي هادي غادي تلقى بزاف ديال الاخطاء درتي هذا اما هذا لينيير الا كانت نون لينيير يعني راه يو ار نوت غوين تو يوز سيبورت فيكتور ماشين تقدر تو يوز كارنلايز سيبورت فيكتور ماشين سو اولويز لوك فور ذا اسامبشنز دي يو اي مين اند باي فايندينغ ذا اسامبشنز خصك اولا تعرف هاد لي مودلز تعرف البروز والكونز ديالهم تعرف ال السلبيات والايجابيات السرعه الكومبلكسيتي البارامترز تعرف مثلا دي اوبجيكتيفز ليرن اوبجيكتيفز كاست فانكشن لاست فانكشن كل هذا خصك تعرفهم على اي مود على حده وتعرف ريكوايرمنت اسامبشنز خصك تعرفهم على اي مود ومنين انت كتمشي للبيانات ديالك كتشوف واش كاين هاد ريكوايرمنت مثلا ديسيجن تري عنده الاكس ريكوايرمنت ديالو والاسامبشن ديالو اكس واي زي واش عندي اكس واي زي في هاد الديتا يس ذن ام غون يوز ديسيجن تري الا ما عنديش بلا ما تصد على راسك مع ديسيجن تري از نوت غون ورك سو تيك ديسيجن تري اوف يور ليست دابا غادي نمشيو راندوم فورست عندنا ريكوايرمنت جو فور ات ما عندناش دون دون تراي الا بغيتي تراي خصك تموديفي ل البيانات ديالك ولا خصك تموديفي الكيرنل ديال ديال المودلز سو تو ديتيرم وانس يو ديتيرمين ذا اناليتيكال ابروتش يو نيد تو ديتيرمين ذا موديل تو ديتيرمين اناليتيكال ابروتش يو نيد تو كواشن ذا ديتا اند اولسو يو نيد تو لوك انتو ذا فورمات اوف ذا بروبلم يو تراين تو تاكل اناليتيكلي وانس يو هاف ذا اناليتيكال ابروتش اولدي ديتيرمين كلير اجريد ابون then you need probably to determine what would be your three four model to start with and to determine your three four models to start with you need to look into the assumptions of these models 
and you need to um, see if your data meet those assumptions otherwise don't use them فاتم الزهراء إدريسي إدريسي ما عقدش على سميتك سمحي لي كلير ار يو كلير؟ عذراء إدريسي بيبي اوكي يا عذراء بس اي هاف ا ستادي وي يوز فور مودلز فور ذا داتا كانتيتاتيف داتا وي يوز راندوم فورست اند كاينين اند تو كومبار ويز ذا ريجريشن لينير I, I have to look into your data and your problem to help you. Yeah, okay. Okay? Thanks. Mm. So, uh, any question, please? Any question? Sir? Yes. Uh, uh, maybe we have uh, all the assumption. It's okay. Maybe uh, for uh, life by the... the uh, I don't know. I remember. I don't remember the. Uh, the target is not uh, linear, and uh, it is not. Uh, Linearly uh, separable. Uh, yeah, uh, and uh, and we we find uh, a high accuracy, uh, and we apply the maybe or algorithm, and we find that uh, maybe naive bays have a high accuracy and a high uh, precision. Uh, the question is uh, maybe someone ask uh, ask us why we use the machine learning algorithm for example not deep learning why you think to use uh, maybe this uh, algorithm exactly not others so very good question so um, number one that is your job as data scientist to determine the best analytical approach and it is your responsibility as data scientists within the analytical approach to determine the best models. So what, why we are using deep learning versus machine learning? It depends on the complexity of the problem, depends on the quality of the data, depends on the dimensionality of your data. For example, if you are dealing with an audio files and video files, image files, your machine learning is not going to work. Machine learning has some limitation, then we are going to use um, deep learning. If you are working with, if you work with a very simple, you know, low dimensional data, we are going to start with machine learning. You know, um, of course, uh, if you have um, a solid infrastructure, maybe machine learning, uh, deep learning is going to work because uh, deep learning requires more computations. If your system does not support that heavy computations, then you use machine learning. Within machine learning, you know, you ask the question, why do we use uh, random forest versus KNN? Number one, because the assumption, we have assumptions that support random forest versus random uh, KNN. Number one, number two, if the assumptions meet both random forest and and um, random forest and canin then maybe you need to compare these models using the speed random force is faster than uh, than machine learn than uh, canin if both they are at the same speed level you could compare them using complexity you could compare them using the time required to fix to prepare the data so you could compare them using so many criteria and that is your job as a scientist so sometimes you know you run a model you get a very good accuracy for example you get a um, you know, decision tree you got the um, 90 percent and K knn you got 85 percent which model is better which model is better of course, you are going to tell me, you are going to tell me decision tree using what using accuracy. The high accuracy, we we, we will no, choose uh, the high accuracy. No, of no, the higher accuracy is one one criteria. Okay, but not just my accuracy. So I the decision tree and the same for me. okay, decision tree is my best model. No, it's one criteria. Should I tell you the criteria? Speed, the models, 
واش ديسيجن تيلا كان كتاخذ لك خمسة دقائق راه ماشي بحال كاين كتاخذ لك دقيقه كومبلكسيتي الا كان ديسيجن تي كتطلب لك شي حاجه فيري سي انا فيري كومبلكس ديتا كاين راس فيري سيمبل انا غادي نمشي بعد مع ما تشوفش مع الاكوريسي بوحده اكوريسي تقدر تطوره ولكن اللي ما تقدرش تحكم فيه هي السرعه اسمح لي لك سي تديروها تنكومباريوها اونتر لي موديل فقط لكانت لي فالور كاليتاتيف ولكن كانت كونسيتاتيف اون بال بال كوالنس اون بال دو ان كاري ف ف ف ف الاكوريسي لي موديل حنا هاد لي موديل هادو وي كومبير وي كومبير ديم ات ميني ليفلز اند وان اوف ذا ليفل از اكوريسي اكوريسي اوف ا موديل does not has nothing to do with being qualitative or quantitative can the models can خدموا على two type of data qualitative and quantitative can the models مبنيين خصيصا على numerical data على quantitative data على qualitative quantitative data يعني being qualitative or quantitative ما عندو تعالى قبل بل 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 accuracy ديال المارل و احسن من الافضل الى عندك الى عندك كاتيجوريكال ديتا من الافضل تحوليها لنيميريكال ديتا لا لا عندي كونتيتاتيف ديتا نيميريكال ديتا يا يا الى عندك نيميريكال ديتا يس الى عندك لان جميع يعني 90% او سي ديال لي مودلز مبنيه على نيميريكال ديتا على الكونتيتاتيف ديتا اوكي الفكره اللي بغيت نوصل لكم وهو ما تقارنوش لي مودلز غير على يوزين الاكوريسي الا قارنتي لي مودلز بيوزين الاكوريسي يو ار غان ميك رونغ ديسيجن راه ديسيجن تري دابا هي 90% لكن الا جنا واحد البيانات اللي هي معقده راه كاينين غادي يخدم كثار من ديسيجن تري يعني خصك تقارن لي مودلز ديالك في الاخر خصك واحد المودل اللي تخدم عليه هاد المودل هذا تختارو مقارنه تقارنو مع الاخرين using accuracy using the speed complexity using the the assumptions using so many things at cat go okay this is the model و ديك الساعه ممكن حتى تخدم على هذه الاكوريسي هذا تطورها يعني ديال اوبتيمايزيشن ديال بارامتر تيونين رجع عاوتاني شوف الاسامبشنز ديال الداتا رجع شوف واش واش درتي شي حاجه اللي ما خصهاش دار مثلا ترانسفورم كاتيجوري كنت نمرك الداتا رجع شوف واش عندك واحد الفاريبل اللي ما خصوش يكون ارجع شوف ربما حيدتي واحد الفيربول اللي ما خصوش يتحيد عادي يمكن لك تطور الكاينين ديالك ال 90% ولكن ما تختارش لي يعني الموديل غير يوزينك اكوريسي ذات از رونغ ديسيجن تو ميك اوكي يو جايز جيت ذا بوينت يس سير ثانك يو سو ماتش بيكوز اي دونت نو ذيس ايديا اي I drop. I use just the high accuracy and then no. high precision. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, folks. So now we are gonna fire up. <coughs> we are gonna fire up Jupyter Notebook. And we are gonna do. Yeah, the time is up. My bad. And it's gonna be. Um, here we go. Okay, the first thing we gotta do, as usual, and to my arfin steps, arfin steps, version of new, version of new, a model, خصوصاً إلى كان supervised learning models. Steps دي الورا في واضحة. Number one, yeah, number one, we need to uh, number one identify. X and Y. Number two, split. Number three, import your uh, modules. Number four, um, add the scale. Add the chasag of few few bad uh, models. Other models I don't care. Number five, build and initiate your model. 
number six train model on 80% if we are using split number seven test the model on 20% number eight make a decision or calculate the accuracy sorry calculate the accuracy هادو هما الخطوات اللي غالبا كتبعوهم الى عندك supervised learning very very simple يعني very خطوات باينة واضحة اوكي so we are gonna read uh, import libraries very quick انا غادي نجري غادي ندير هادي بسرعة لان درنا هادي بشحال هادي we are gonna read version number four لا قبل ما نمشي ما ندير ما ندير version number four أنا أقول لكم واحد طريقة بسيطة جدا ولكن راه تقدر تلقى فيها تقدر تلقى فيها شي حاجة اللي هي غير منتظرة منك غير منتظرة من البيانات شي حاجة غير متوقعة جدا جدا وبطبيعة باش يعني يعني نعطيكم فكرة كيفاش كتفكر كمحلل بيانات أو عالم بيانات How do you think How do you think like a data scientist ديجا كنا عارفين درنا يعني ال ديتا و ديمشنتي ريداكشن يعني في الاول فاش يلا بدينا درنا يوزين نوليدج بيس مينز وي ريموف اني ثينغ ذات از ان اي دي وي ريموف اني ثينغ ذات از تو بيرسونال انفورميشن وي ريموف اني ديتس انليس يو ار بلانينغ تو يوز تايم سيريز اناليسيس وي ريموف اني كونستانت وي ريموف اني With data with high cardinality, we remove data with high hierarchy, hierarchical data, etc. Here we are going to do the now ten correlation analysis. And now two columns here. And now policy being date. عندنا انسيدنت دي انتم عارفين بان خصنا نحيدوا هاد خصنا نحيدوا هاد تو فيتشرز يو نو ذات يو نو وي هاف تو ريموف ذيم نمبر 1 بيكوز وي ار نوت يوزين تايم سيريز اناليسيس سو وي ار نوت يوزين تايم سيريز اناليسيس اند وي نيد تو ريموف ذيم لكن قبل ما نحيدوهم اشنو في نظركم نقدروا نديروا اشنو في نظركم نقدروا نديروا ار اوف ذيس تو كولمز وي هاف تو اليمينيت ذيم خصنا نحيدوهم خصنا نحيدوهم لأن دي ار ديتس حنا عارفين ما غاديش نستعملو تايم سيريز ولكن قبل ما نحيدوهم واش نقدرو نستافدو منهم كان بي يوز دم كان بي يوز دم يس وي كان هاو يلا نعطيكم 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 مهلة للتفكير. We can replace for example incident dates by yes or no. No. كيا دي اللي ما مستحيل دي رأي يسير نو. يلا try. No for if we don't incident date. No. Don't don't complicate your yourself. هسا طريقة سهلة جدا غادي تخرج منها من هاد التو تو كولمز وي كان وي كان ذيس اس اندكس نو اندكس اوف دايتون وي يوز ذي اندكس اف وي ار يوزين تايم سيريز اشنو نقدرو نديرو باش نستافدو من هاد 
two columns. No, we are we are gonna remove them. We are gonna remove them. But okay, قبل ما نحيدهم خلينا نستفدوا منهم بعد عاد نحيدهم. Maybe they take the seasons when the most Safian that is way complicated. ما ما تحاولوش تعقدوا الأمر. Calculate Limami no Fatiha Safian no. Uh, Abdul Karim, no. And not policy. Policy date. And not accident date. Okay. Hadi in Harjiti, no. Catalog insurance. Hadi Fashayati Alina, category no. Wala Radar to Hadi Tatsir, as you are known. شنو اللي نقدروا نخرجوا من هاد تو ديت اوكي اكسيدنت ماينس بوليسي ديت اند تو جيف ذا نمبر اوف يس مام هير وي جو اشنو سميت كاين لا لاميا لا يسيديري وي لاميا اي ام فير تو تالور و سافيتي يا فاطمه مسيو يا سو ذات از ذا رايت دايركشن غادي نشوفوا شحال ديال الوقت هاو لونغ هاو لونغ هاو لونغ هاو لونغ ديال تيك سمون تو هاف ان اكسيدنت غير نشوفوا يعني اشنو هي واش كاين واش كاين شي واش كاين شي شي حاجه هنا مثلا اللي انا باقي ما عارفينش دابا اللي كان اكسبكت اكسيدنت تقدر تلقى مثلا جميع الحوادث السير اللي وقع عندكم راه وقع عندكم ان العام الاولاني ديال سميتو ديال الانشورنس مثلا 90% الى لقيتي 90% ديال الحوادث وقعوا في الاول سنه ديال الانشورنس ديالك اشنو تق... اشنو تقدر دير اشنو تقدر دير تقدر العام الاولاني ديال الانشورنس ديالك نقدر مثلا نشارجك 20% اوكي سو so, غادي نحيدو انسيدنت ديت ماينس غادي نحيدو هذا انسيدنت ديت ماينس بين ديت وعاد عطيك دايز هذا 450 دايز هذا 120 دايز هذا 30 دايز هذا 0 داي اكسترا ودابا هادشي ما عندي ما ندير به انا غادي نحافظ على هادي ذيس از هاو يو ثينك هادي شي حتى هي الطريقه اللي خصك تفكر بها كعالم بيان ملي كيكون عندك البيانات ما تحاولش تخلي دوك البيانات كما هي شوف واش كاين شي طريقه اللي تسخرج شي حاجه اللي هي يو دون هاف وهادشي علاش في هاد ملي هضرنا على ملي هضرنا على الـ على الـ كريس بي ام استرت عليها بالحمر اتس فيري امبورتنت كتسمى فيتشر انجينيري اند فيتشر اكستراكشن ذيس از ذا موست امبورتنت ذا موست امبورتنت process yes feature engineering or feature creation or this is the most important احنا غادي نحيدهم لان ما محتاجينش ما محتاجينش ما محتاجينش سميتو ديت ولكن غادي نستغلهم قبل ما نحيدهم ودابا منين يكون عندك هاد البيانات هادو انت كدير مخت... كدير رسم تخطيطي هكا وكتشوف ها هي طالعه شويه نازله وشويه غادي يقعد ذن يو ميك انا يو ميك ا ديسيجن كتفهم بعدا كتفهم انت هاد الحوادث وقعوا هاو لون داز ات تيك واش في العام الاولاني ولا العام الثاني ولا ثلاث سنين ولا اربع سنين ولا يو ار غانا جي سامثينغ 
غادي غادي تحصل على شي معلومه اللي هي تكون مفيده جدا جدا لل that you are going to use to make a better decision okay Idrisi are you clear Aisha Alawi Ali Amin Boshra Donia and everybody in the in the room are you guys clear before, yeah, thank you. yeah before you remove any feature try to see if you can utilize it first okay <laughs> Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so the uh, bad nell and nell and version number four. Uh, it's the two. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need. Version number four. Supervised learning. Okay, so we got all the zeros. And now let's take a look into our target variable. It's still um, it's still the same. We got uh, seventy five percent, twenty five percent. Then we split. We identify x and y. We split. Then we uh, determined uh, our um, dummy model. Okay, our dummy model is at 75%, should be. Then we started with a decision tree, import decision tree, initiate decision tree, train the decision tree, and uh, test your decision tree. And of course, we are going to use uh, the accuracy is 83 then after that we moved into a uh, naive base naive base is non 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 algebraic model it's not i'm sorry it's an algebraic model uh, probabilistic model so we need to scale then we import the library we initiate we fit we test then of course we are going to do uh, compare the confusion matrix then we are going to calculate the accuracy is going to be 70, 75. So if I were to ask you, if I were to ask you, how are we doing with naive base? How are we doing with naive base? So the, the dummy model is actually 75%. And this model is 75%. It's, it's you know, the, the naive base and dummy models, they are the same. So no need to do a naive base. But why do you think we have a very low accuracy for naive base? What should we check first? If you were to ask, if you were, if you, if you, you know, if you've been asked at interview, that you have a very low accuracy for naive base, what would be the first thing to check? Selma, what are we checking in the data? So the new B is supposed that the data is uh, independent. The features are independent. Yes. So assumptions. Check if we are going to do independence, and what else? Normality. But this is the word I was looking for, and someone already, I think, um, uh, Ait uh, Dahman and um, Selma answered that. Yes. The first thing, make sure that. You got the assumptions. If the assumptions are correct, then your model is, um, you know, the accuracy is very high, then this is not a very good model. But you cannot say that the, the naive base is very bad 
because of the uh, of the uh, of the accuracy but because maybe you are feeding wrong data into it so the point i'm trying to make is don't judge don't don't judge um, the uh, the goodness of a model using the accuracy only then after that we moved into logistic regression we build a model we feed the model and calculate the accuracy and now it's 83 so now with with uh, uh, support vector machine we are going to import support vector machine from scikit-learn then we are going to assume we are going to assume this is very important we are going to assume that your model uh, your data is linearly separable linear means linearly linearly separable means you can separate them with a line if your data is in this format then definitely your uh, support vector machine is going to work so we assume that your data is linear if your data is not linear and you assume it's not linear, then you are not going to get an accurate result. So question, question for you guys. How do we check if your data is linear, linearly separable, or non-linearly separable? What's some, uh, some techniques? What are, how do we determine, how do we check if your data is linearly separable, non-linearly separable? Trying to do some correlations? No. No. Search it. There is one method, Lakin, the best way to do it is data visualization yeah using scar plot yes data visualization but i can't can't have a library or a method uh, uh, yeah uh, yeah uh, how to determine if your uh, data is linearly linearly separable Um, support vector machine can you tell me how to whether the data is linearly separable Asmitah Allahumma salli ala rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Ma'andi bid ma'ghi 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 هذه هي لينير سيبرابل هذا ماشي لينير سيبرابل ما ما تقدرش دير سيبورت فيكتور ماشين هذا وتقول لي لينير هذا يس لينير ذيس نوت لينير بيسيترون بيسيترون لينير ماشين سيبرابل ديتا فيجواليزيشن هي الاولى انا غادي نشاري معكم هذا الارتيكل هذا جو ثرو ات لكن واحد طريقه اخرى واحد طريقه اخرى شنو هي Computation geometry, can we have it? Have it? Have you can collaborate earlier? That's the convex hall. Yes, convex hall. Have it? I can try and push the push to show for the the bein of the linearly separable or non-linearly separable. Okay, this is a very good article that I want you guys to go through. Very good article. Have you? Is the idea linearly separable? تقدر دير لاين عندنا الخضرين والحمرين تقدر دير لاين يعني كل هذه this is a very good article يعني هذه اللي تقلب عليها هذا convex hall ديجا استعملتها شحال هذه وما عقلتش عليها 
Okay, and I'm gonna spicy, spi spicy library. Okay. Convict's heart. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Voila. Okay. So we assume that your data is linearly separable. We are going to train the model. We are going to build the model, train the model, feed the model, calculate the accuracy, uh, confusion matrix, and calculate the accuracy. 83.5. Uh, 83 we are gonna elema kanch elema kanch your if your data is not linearly separable if your data is not linearly separable i tell her in 3d um, 3d okay we'll video we'll um, video zween and you can accomplish the family الويديو مزيان مهم جدا نوري لكم كيفاش تقدر تحول كيفاش تقدر تحول هو هذا انت ما شوفو يعني هاد البيانات ديالي نون لينير ما يمكنش دير شي لاين ما يمكنش تحلها بشي لاين دابا غادي نحولها ل 3 دي سبيس البيانات ديالي غادي نحولها ل 3 دي سبيس ومن 3 دي سبيس تقدر دير واحد لاين سوبر باش يعني تفرق بها ما بين ما بين النقاط الحمراء والنقاط النقاط الزرقاء This is exactly what we mean by uh, uh, in a colonized, colonized. And the way to do it is all you need to do, all you need to do is change the kernel. We have the first one that we have the linear, then we have the RBF. RBF stands for um, um, ratio base basic function, radial basic function. Okay, let's try to see if um, if the uh, RBF is going to work. The same model. غير حنا كان ديرو يعني في الأولى we assumed that it's linear. را قدر نحلو قدر نفرق ما بين legitimate claims, non-legitimate claims using a line. هذه we we cannot separate them, so we are going to change RBF. Can you observe can RBF can uh, um, polynomial can uh, sigmoid. RBF. Okay, and we are going to do 79. 79. Yeah, uh, your data is linearly separable, actually. So that is support vector machine. Our model is going to be Kainer's neighbor. Kainer's neighbor is not a model. ماشي شي شي مود اللي كاتب ليه هو اتس لوك اب تيبل اشنو كيدير كيقارن دابا الى الى مثلا ولدك ولا انت ولا انت يو ار ماي فريند دان الكت انا كان كمي انت غايت كمي اف اي سموك يو ار غانا يو ار غانا اف يو ار اف يو ار بين ماي فريند يو نو اسوشياتين you know with me um, every day and if i'm if i'm drug user you are going to be drug user drug drug consumer if i'm a smoker you are going to be a smoker if i'm a criminal 
most likely you are going to be criminal. If I'm uh, if I'm a good person, you are going to be a good person. Uh, dear just canis neighbor. So how do we determine if something similar to something is calculating the distance? Can how long we can do we can do the bayonet, for example, this. هادي اركات شبه هادي لان قريبه ليا هادي راه مختلفه على هادي لان بعيده عليها سو وي كالكوليت ديستانس وهاد ديستانس راه كاين بزاف فيهم كاينه مهالانوبيس كاينه اوكليديان ديستانس كاينه مانهاتن ديستانس كاينه تشيفيت شيف ديستانس كاينه كوساين ديستانس كاين بزاف لي ديستانس based on the type of the data that you have that you can use to uh, see how close if they are close then we cluster them we group them if they are too far then we uncluster them that is very s simple um, uh, simple um, uh, uh, um, lazy it's a lazy model and the Zabdiel Asma عندو بزاف ديال الاسماء من بين الاسماء ديالو هو ليزي موديل اند اي سيمبلي ا لوك اب تيبل منين كتعطيني مثلا شي ان نون ديتا كنهزو وكنمشي للتيبل ديالو كنقاور اين ايليمنتس اللي عندي في البيانات اللي كتشبه هاد البيانات هادو وكنقول لهم اوكي ذيس از غن از غن بي سيميلر ذيس وان شود بي لايك ذيس That is Kainer's neighbor without, um, يعني هو ماشي ماشي model, يعني ما كتعلمش فيه. You don't train, we don't train a model. A model هو ليش حاجة ال ال كتراني به. هذا ال Kainer we don't train. It's simply we build a we build a lookup table. We calculate the distance between this whatever we have in the table and the uh, new data that you want to compare or you want to predict. So. Kainer's uh, neighbor موجود في cycle learn so we import Kainer's uh, neighbor classifier. Then you see here we did not we did not train a model we established the model. Then uh, we fit and now we are going to do confusion matrix. And finally we are going to do the accuracies. ومن بعد ده بعدين قارنوا جميع. مودلات اللي درنا دابا هادو هما كاع لي مودلز دا وي ديد يعني الا سولتكم دو بيس مودل طبعا غادي تقولوا لي غير ما ديسيجن تري ولا لوجيستيك روجريشن ولا سيبار دو فيكتور ماشي يوزين وات يعني لا كنستعملو وان كاركتيرستيك اند ذات از دي اكوريسي We still need to uh, look into other characteristics. So, questions, concerns, please. Of course, Adi, Adi, Mashi, Adi, but the models that we learned. Mala Safra Kainin and Kain Zep, we let the Mashi tool, Kain will have application as me tool, as me to rapid minor. Rakin Kariban one um, one eighty two models that we could use. I'll show you. Okay, Zev the only models where you can have the most common how to model at the Shora, Marufa, classic, classical models. Can she model Anna Marfosh, my monis metalium? Okay, I'm going to show you how many uh, models. That this rapid minor supports and try to duplicate those models in R and in Python. Why forty-two random state? Okay, so I have one question. Yes, 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 uh, yes. Please hold on, sister. Please hold on. Okay, please hold on. So, can I use Boston? Use Boston model one seventy-two. That I can't handle. خاصة بالليرنينغ أما كاين دو مودلز ديال اكسيسين ديتا مودلز تو بلاند يور ديتا مودلز تو كلين يور ديتا مودلز تو سكورز فاليديشن ولكن غير تو ليرن فروم يور ديتا وي هاف 
algorithms and models. Okay, um, the question is, why do we use a uh, uh, to a kind of random state? And as you can do of for it, as we are random state weather. Random state here. to stabilize your learning. So for example, and to and to my daughter, the smaller one, you can tell me about six years, seven years, six years, seven years. You can read one of the classes, or you can read in English. The day you visit your teacher, you can read in the morning. The day you get your results, you can read in the morning. You can read in the morning. You can read in the morning. عيد أن وقت لعب تاني عيد تاتلي يجيك لكم واحد الأستاذ مغربي قرأكم سبعة تلاشية توعيد المرق رجيك لكم أستاذ جزائري المرق رجيك لكم أستاذ ااا أستاذ إنه إنجليزي وغادي أوكك. سو أشنو هي أفضل طريقة؟ وش منك يكون عندنا many instructors ولا one instructor؟ فينا فينا هي الطريقه اللي تقدر تعلموا منها مزيان وتركزوا ف هذه غادي تشت هذه غادي تشت لكم ما عارفينش كاع ما عارفينش رجليكم وراسكم كل نهار كيجينا واحد مختلف كل نهار كنتعلموا شي حاجه جديده يعني نتوما في ذاك يعني في الطفوله كلشي غادي تخربق كلشي ما تفهم والو اما الا عندنا واحد النهار الاول كنفهموا الغد اللي كنحاول نفهموا الاستاذ ديالنا كيفاش كي هذه هي الراندوم ستيت الراندوم ستيت أو نبعدو على كل مرة كتعطيني البيانات مختلفة من كدير انتها سبليت سوري جايز ذيس از نوت ريلي جود هسا من كدير دابا عندك البيانات ذيس از يور ديتا اند ان ذيس ديتا وي هاف ان ا ثاوزند كليمز And we have um, 37, 39 uh, features. We have 80% and 20% random. Random means the same 80%, 20%. You are going to always gonna get a different, different um, 80%, 20%. مثلا عندنا عيشة هنا عيشة يو ار هير إلا إلا درت سبريت عاوتاني المرة الثانية نقدر نلقاك هنا درتها تا المرة الثالثة نقدر نلقاك هنا نقدر نلقاك هنا وغادي هكا وها وبالتالي هذا الموديل ديالك كيتخربق كل مرة كتعطي البيانات البوزيشن ديال البيانات مختلفة كل مرة يور 80% is different than the previous 80% يعني your model يعني the environment is not stable. وبش نستابل to stabilize it we are gonna say random state. ونعطيه هالشيء رقم. قدرت تكون واحد جوج ثلاثة أربعة it doesn't matter. ولكن علاش forty two. هذا forty two كتسمى score of life يمكن. غير هي يعني ما عنده تعلقة. Why forty two as random مش يرى اسمي ثا راندوم ستيت ااا شيء حاجة اسمي ثا لايف شيء حاجة إنه ااا بروف أوف لايف راندوم ستيت كت اسمه ااا بيكوز ميني إنستراكتور ااا بلا 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 كين يحس يا راندوم ستيت كين يحس مية كت اسمه ااا بروف of life. ما عندها حتى يعني ماشي شي حاجه اللي هي ساينتيفيك ااا فيكشن كوميونتي رايل ولا جالكسي جايد جالكسي هي انسر ذا التيميت كويشن اوف لايف باش ما خذوا واحد الموفي سميتو هاتش هايكر جايد جالكسي بلا 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 يعني هذا غير هي رقم عشوائي ولكن متعارف عليه بان 42 از ولكن لا يعني الا درتي مثلا 40 ولا 30 ولا 
اي رقم اتس نو بيج ديل ولكن ما تغيروش كنخليه دائما اوكي آه علي اي كلير اوكي آه اوكي سيستر يو غات ا كويشن هو سمون واز توكين In the end, uh, we have just accuracy to compare it uh, all models. Mm -hmm. But uh, how we can uh, compare speed and complexity to? Uh, so you are going to use this. Um, this is for the speed. You see, mm -hmm. we got for. Let, let's take a look. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. You are welcome. Decision tree is two point twenty eight millisecond. Naive base is nine, um, I don't know what it is. It's less than a millisecond, very, very fast. And time uh, the, uh, is zero. Boom, that's it. Uh, support vector machine, it's uh, a value in there. I cannot read it. Five milliseconds. يعني 4 ملليسيكند وهذه يبقى تقدر يعني ب... آه يعني بعض الاختراعات كتقول لك الشركه انا بغيت بغيت مور اللي هو مسرع ماشي سوقي في ال... ماشي سوقي في الاكوريسي اي وونت ا هاي سبيد فاست ليرنين مودل وعاودتين كترجعوا لهذه غير ما كتقارنوا مثلا يوزين الاكوريسي كتقارنوا يوزين تايم ودابا كتقارنوا الكومبلكسيتي ديال المودلز البروز اند كونز ديال اي موديل كتقارن شحال ديال شحال ديال الوقت اللي كيتطلب باش نقادو البيانات لهاد الموديل هادي كاين مثلا بحال ديسيجن تري غير عطيها البيانات سيهام بليز تيرن اوف يور كاميرا اوكي سو اني كويشن كونسيرن بليز Yeah, we come in Abbas. If we add regularization in the model to generalize, is this will is this will generate guarantee the performance um, and with complex data? I really don't know. No, can can yeah. I mean, generalization only works for regression. Uh, so. Um, It depends. Uh, I need to see your data. I need to see your codes. I need to see your process to help you. Okay, folks. That's it for today. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. We see you guys tomorrow, inshallah. After that, that is going to be our last and final uh, you know, session. I hope, inshallah, we will be able to give you نتمنى تكونوا استفدتوا من هذا البرنامج و الى خليتوا لي غير شي دعوه الوالديه دعوه لي ذاتس اول واي نيد فروم يو جاست باي يا جاست باي مرحبا بكم الوالدين ان شاء الله تعالى محتاجين اي حاجه يعني بارك الله فيكم على المدى البعيد اف يو نيد اني هيلب تبارك الله عليك يا رب الوالدين الخدمين ان شاء الله يلا كن يعاون ربي تلاوات تيم سيوي ناد مستني ان شاء الله تعالى سي يو جايز تومورو باي ايفري بادي